you knocking on my door for? Uh, <laughs> here to buy some weed, Mr. McFeely. Why the fuck are you wearing a mailman costume? Because I sell pot to minors. And no one questions a mailman hanging out with 12 year olds. Hmm. Also, rest has really brought out your creative side. Oh, thanks, Brad. Uh, if you could write that down in a letter to my bitch of a mom who wouldn't uh, pay for my shit for lessons, that'd be great. Hmm. All right, cut me a deal on the greenery, and you can consider that letter written. Two hundred for an ounce of the AK forty-seven. You got yourself a deal, Senator. All right, let's make it official. Sounds good. <laughs> I mean, the show's supposed to be about a family, right? Not a little pervert neighbor boy who does science experiments on the family and sexually assaults the daughter on a daily basis. Uh, I don't think you're really considering the emotional depth of a Steve Urkel. I wish I loved anything as much as Steve loved Laura Winslow. I wish I loved anything as much as Steve Urkel loves cheese. True. Oh shit. Oh man, it's Kelly. I gotta go, man. What's your girlfriend want? You to put together Ikea furniture with your shirt off while sensually feeding her grapes sensually? What do you base your ideas of a relationship on? Uh, the first three minutes of porn. And my parents' divorce. It was a sexy divorce. Real sexy. Okay, that's my cue, man. I'm gonna bounce out. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. Thanks for the weed. Yep, be good. Good to see you, brother. Sorry I just stopped by Dave's, you know how that goes. Uh, is something wrong? Yeah, something's wrong. Alright. Well, I'm gonna make some s'mores. Do you want any? No. I don't want any s'mores, Bradley. We need to talk. Okay, so you don't want any s'mores, so that means I should probably make, like, uh... Eight some more. Eight some more. Hold on, just a second, okay? Damn it, Brad, can you just listen to me for like one fucking second, please? Oh shit, she's pissed. You know, you do this all the time. You make plans for dinner and you get stoned and forget, and then I try to mention something and you like blow me off. I can't do it anymore. You can you can't do what? What are you talking about? I can't do it anymore. You and me, Brad. And as a matter of fact, I actually decided that I'm not going to. Where, where, where is this coming from? This feels so all of a sudden. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know. Where have you been the past few months, maybe? Around? Fred. I have tried to bring this up so many times. It's just like really fucking bullshit. I've been lying to the clown inside my mind. I told him that the world is wicked and unkind I told him he's self-righteous and he's wrong and That all his jokes take way too long I told him that my pockets are in a bind I've been lying to the clown inside my mind been lying to the person in my heart I told him to shut his mouth and play his part I told him he's lesser than and that he's strange and the world ain't ready for a thing like change 
Told him the end's the same, so what's the use to start? I've been lying to the person in my heart. There's Tinder, Match, J Day, Adult Friend Finder, OK Cupid, uh, Craigslist. There's strange random women everywhere that want to have strange random sex. Why aren't you having the strangest, most random sex right now? You got a smartphone, don't you? It's that easy. You can have a different Craigslist girl in your bed every night if you want it. I don't want a Craigslist couch because it feels too used, man. Let alone a Craigslist girl. There's no way I'm sleeping with one of those. Besides, technically, Kelly's still living with me, so no girls until she's gone. Wait a second, she's still living there? Well, fuck that, man. I think you get one of those crazy sex dominatrix and only use your half of the bed. They'll show that slut. Oh, uh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Come on, man. Kelly's still my friend. Don't call her a slut. Be a gentleman. Watch your language. Call her a harlot. Now go get the fucking ball, you piece of shit. <laughs> what are you gonna do, Brad? Where are you gonna live? Have you thought about that yet? Four. Uh, I've got some places lined up actually to see later today. Oh yeah? How'd you find them? <laughs> Craigslist. You said it yourself, man. Those people are crazy. Yeah, but what other options do I really have, man? Yeah, I guess you're right. Although, my friend Sarah's looking for a roommate. Is that that girl you're trying to bone all the time? You got that one wrong, compadre. She's trying to bone me. Cool. Well, at this point, I'd honestly consider anything. Perfect. I'll make the call right now, then. Hey, Sarah. No, I don't want to come over for popsicles. You know I'm on that diet where I only eat meats that don't spoil. Yeah, like Slim Jims and shit. Hey, listen, I called for a reason. You know my friend Brad? Yeah, the kind of handsome one that's a dick. Hey, well listen, his his girlfriend broke up with him Jesus, and man. kicked him out of the house. You should let him come live with you. All right, I'll let him know. No, those aren't my boxers. I don't even wear underwear. All right, catch you later. You have an appointment at one. Oh God, that should be interesting. Oh, come on, man. It can't be that bad. Hey, actually, you mind if I come with you? I, uh, I got some investigating to do about some underwear. Yeah. Um, sure, but only if you make this shot. Perfect. I've just been messing around this whole time. I'm actually really good. Oh, hey, uh, you must be Sarah. I'm Sarah, you're Brad. Oh, this, it's wet from, my hands don't have pee on them. That's from when I washed them. I don't, I didn't pee on my hand. Oh. It's just so you know. Too bad, uh, pee's probably my favorite liquid. <laughs> oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> Me too. I love pee so much. Before you got here, I was just, uh, I peed all over all the floors. <laughs> so I like it too a lot. It's like. Cool. I peed at my house before I came. <laughs> uh, what? That's a good, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, are you gonna let me in and show me around? Oh, yeah. The, uh, so, the place is here. But watch out for the pee on the floor because I didn't put a cone up and you could slip. From earlier, I said, I, do you remember that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, all right. <laughs> um, so, hallway. So, this would be your room. Cool. Here's the bathroom. 
cool. This is where we keep the hot water heater. Hot. <laughs> uh, cool. Well, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. I have a few other places I have to look at, so I'll let you know by the end of the week. Okay. Yeah, that's great. One more thing. Uh, Kyle isn't, I thought he was going to come. Do you know what's up? How's he doing? Oh, yeah, he had a prior engagement. He's been really busy lately. Fuck you, you stupid ass Link. What, you think you're better than me? Take that! Huh? How you like that, you fucking Lake? Huh? Huh? Just a bunch of pussy ass water. That's all you are, stupid ass Lake. Take that! Suck my nuts! Suck my nuts! I get it, totally. Uh, if you see him, I have, I, I, I brought these and I wanted to give them to him. So you could just give them over. But you don't have to open. Wait. Definitely not Kyle's. Well, you can tell. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Sorry, you should really get tested. Cool, thanks. Shut up! Shut up, you stupid mutt! Oh, you must be Brad, my new roommate. Come on, check out the apartment. Oh, uh, no, actually, uh, no, I'm not Brad. Uh, I'm here to talk to you about Jesus. Uh, Jesus? Jesus? I don't believe in Jesus. Oh, I worship the God of the Son. Now get out of here! I'm waiting for my new best friend slash roommate, Brad! Now get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Thank you, Jesus. So yeah, there's a fucking skylight in there. Dude, rent 600 a month, but can't beat the location. Man, I'm not even gonna lie. This is like everything I've been looking for. It's fucking sick, right? Yeah, like hashtag tuberculosis ill. Nah, <laughs> hell yeah it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so what's the catch, man? This is too good to be true. Dude, there is no catch, all right? I've just been here alone, you know? Need somebody to help out with the rent. Okay, well, uh, how many other people have looked at it? I mean, a couple others, but you know, they're fucking weird, so I told them no. <laughs> Okay, well, would I be a good candidate to be your roommate? Dude, I don't want to be weird, but I would love to shack up with you. <laughs> oh, well, uh... Well, what the hell? Let's do it, man. Yeah? Yeah, let's do it. Fuck yeah, bring it in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> well, shit, since we're roomies, we should, uh, celebrate with a little beer. Uh, yeah, I love beer, uh... Never said no to a beer before. Especially not from my new roomie. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Some good beers. Wanna smoke a little marijuana, chill hard? Well, I do like chilling, but you know marijuana is illegal in the United States, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. Can't say no to a little marijuana, especially now with my new roommate. <laughs> Dude. Oh man, you thought I was a cop. Supernatural forces are real, man. Ghosts and spirits and all that shit. That stuff's everywhere all the time. Just, you can't tell me that it's real. I peed on my Ouija board and it said I was pregnant. Explain that. Dude, this way is giving me the munchie too. You want a fudge bar? Fudge bar? Like, uh... You talking like your mom just made some fudge or a delicious frozen fudge sickle? <coughs> like a fudge sickle. Oh, well, 
You should just say fudge sickle next time, man. <laughs> you say fudge bar, it sounds weird. Like you want to kiss or something. Oh, uh, hell no. No. No, no. No, no. No, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't say no to a fudge sickle. Especially not from my new Roby. Hey. <laughs> Want to do a bump, man? Oh, hell yeah, I'll bump to that. Ha, <laughs> good one, dude. <laughs> hey, can't say no to my new room out. <laughs> That's coke, dude. Yeah. Call the weatherman, it's about to be a blizzard in this bitch. <laughs> Maybe after we can go to the Church of the Rising Sun and you can make a human suit out of my skin. Being a human suit sounds a hell of a lot better than living with that handsome chocolate drug man. Listen, man, we gotta focus. I got two weeks and I'm not gonna have a place to live. Do me a favor and don't throw it underhand this time. I'm actually trying to hit some balls. Alright, fine then, dude. I'm gonna bring the heat, so you better be ready for it. Well, I'm ready. Nice. Honestly, dude, Sarah's the perfect choice. Yeah, why is that? Well, she's cool, and you're used to seeing tampons in the garbage. Jesus. I guess that's true, but I don't know, man. I guess she was the least weird out of all of them. And honestly, who would have expected that? Not me. No. I think you should give her a call. I guess you're right. I'm always right, Brad. I'm always right. Yeah, what about that time you thought your dad was coming back? He still might, dude. All right? Not cool. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, hey. Sarah. Yeah, it's Brad. You know, Kyle's friend you showed the apartment to? Yeah, hey. How's your family doing? Good, I guess. Hey, Sarah. I still want to sleep with you. I love you as a friend. Anyway, I think I made a decision about the apartment. If it's still available, I'd love to take it. In the butt? From that guy? Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, I'll just send you over the lease stuff and we'll... Uh... Sounds like a plan. Uh, do you want to get together next week sometime and talk everything out? Yeah, I would love that. Alright, uh, so I'll see you later. Okay, sounds good. Roomy. Yep, talk to you later. Dude, that chick is super weird. Hey, Brad, I could still you hang up so I oh, could hear that. Oh, no, I uh, wasn't talking about you. I'm uh, at the zoo, and there's this weird chick with leg braces. <laughs> she can barely walk. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that, that's so yeah. weird. <laughs> yep, anyway, talk to you later. Bye. Dude, you actually gave me some sound advice there. Surprising, right? I do that sometimes. Jeez. Is 
so it's a brand what what do we do now wait for the party to start hell yeah Insert gangster shit right here. More gangster shit right here. Like, whatever, just kill the shit like that. Beat a nigga up, boy, welcome to my battleground. Beat a nigga ass, all I had to do was jab his mouth. Beat a nigga hands, and it wasn't for a dabber mouth. Woke up, pussy nigga, cause I hate to hear a couch meow. Running this shit, you boys get it laughed around. Blow it, still bitch, go for a second out. Schooling you, nigga. Better shot for capping out. Leave it with a genie, cause you even wish to have my stop. A rap trap, I got a snapback, fast trap. Got more kicks than a Bruce Lee attack. Better back back, like a nice fat back clap. No where's no mother. Red right hand. Oh, I should take that one. Red left foot. Fuckers with a match hat. Got bars, y'all officers. I'm Donald Trump. You Donald Duck from shots from us. Give me respect. Y'all hungry bums. I'm greedy fresh. Nigga, shoes. Close. Frames. Holes. Shoes. I'm gonna call my mom and tell her I don't believe in God anymore. <gasps> I've got a better idea. I'm gonna call Pizza Hut and tell him I'm horny. You aren't gonna, you won't. You don't believe me? I'm gonna look up the number right now. No, no, here, here, I have it stored in my phone. Wait, what? I, I used that. Oh, no way. You have an ideal woman's physique, though. Hey, is there any... Pizza Hut. This is Wally. Would you like to try a medium meal box for nine dollars? No, thank you. I'm horny and I need a real man. Are you a real man, Wally? I can be, if that's what you're looking for. Oh, that's what I'm looking for, all right. I need a large sausage and I want you to deliver it to me personally. Okay, that'll take about 40 to 40 to 45 minutes. Depending on how long it takes the pizzas to cook and how fast I can get my moped primed. Great. I'll put on some swim trunks because I know sausage can get really greasy. <laughs> that guy was creepy. Fred, why did you do that? Oh, calm down. It's not like they have our address Yeah, or they have my address stored with my phone number because I call pizza at least once a week. Wait, for real? Yeah, for real, you dip shit. Whenever they come, you have to answer the door. I will not. Oh, no, they're here. Shh, shh, shh. Okay, okay. Is that a big deal? Was I... Wait a second. That could just be my date. Oh. We, I, you go, because you go on date. You get pretty cool. Oh, yeah, I do now. I'm going to get back on the horse tonight. I'm going to make it nay. Nay! Anyway, do you mind answering the door? I got to change my shirt. Why do you have to change your shirt? Fine. I don't know. It's either ketchup or blood. It's hard to tell. Hi, how are you? Fine. Nice outfit. Um, does Brad live here? I, I don't know if he told you that I'm... Um, he must be here to date my roommate, Brad. Oh, I don't know about dating, but we're gonna, you know, grab a drink and hang out after. <laughs> <laughs> you mean by maybe hang out after? You're just gonna hump him and dump him? He just another notch on your studded, plaited belt? There are, there aren't any. You listen to me. All right, I have one rule for dating my roommate, and I'm not fucking around. Yes. Whatever you do to him, I do to you. Okay. What does that even mean? Well, it means if you break his heart, then I will fuck your dad. Wow. Oh, hey, Tori. How's it going? Do you met my roommate, sir? I, I did, actually. Yeah. Um, she just told me that if I break your heart, she'll fuck my dad. I said, no. Yes. Uh, she made that up. That was weird. No, you, you're funny, but she's lying to you already. I don't know if that's going to work. Okay. Can, 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 can I, keep I, going? I'm, I'm sorry. I just got to grab my keys. I'm really sorry. You're leaving. Um, I just got to grab my keys. Okay. Listen, I will fucking kill you. 
It was so great to meet you. You're okay. so All sweet right. and pretty and funny. Have so, have so much fun. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah, have I'm a great so time. Sorry. I hope I get to see you later. Okay. You're so cool. All right, have a good night. Fun, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's been nice, huh? Yeah, it's kind of weird because I feel like from tonight I know you really well already, but I like don't know you at all. I guess that's true. Um, well, you can ask me anything you want. I'll be honest. Okay. Then um, you must smoke a lot of pot, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I do. I'm actually trying to cut back, but, uh, yeah, I do. Why would you want to do that? I guess I'd like to accomplish something at some point in my life. Well, what is it that you want to accomplish? It's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not sure, but I know I'm not going to find it at the bottom of a bag of potato chips. Okay, well, I can appreciate that. You know, uh... We've been walking for a long time. Do you want to maybe go do something else? Sure. Um, like what? You know, we could go hang out at your house. Yeah, we could. My roommate's home though, so... We could hang out in your room. Yeah, but like, what would we do in my... <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> um... Can I be honest with you? Sure, of course. Um, well... <laughs> Go ahead. I, uh... I've only had sex with one girl in the last five years. So... I'm... I'm just a little bit worried that... Uh, you know, you, you don't have to worry about a thing. You know, I have just the thing. Always come prepared. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little bit higher. Nope, not too high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're doing such. Mm -hmm. Get out! 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 I may have taken a Viagra. Brad, why did you take a Viagra? <laughs> That's for people with a, if you're broken, if your wiener's broken. <laughs> Is your wiener broken? No, my wiener's not broken. I don't, well, why did you do it then? I don't need the Viagra, I just did it for fun.